Yo, what's going on guys? And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use remote events in Roblox Studio. So remote events are basically just how the client communicates to the server and how the server communicates to the client. So whenever I make remote events, I usually put them in the replicated storage. Usually you put them in the replicated storage, you can put them in a folder and then put them in there, but it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna go ahead, add a remote event to the replicated storage. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create a local script in the starter player scripts and a server script in the server script service. Okay, in the local script, I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and get the event, which is gonna be equal to game replicated storage dot remote event whatever remote event you have you can put right there and then to fire the event i'm going to go ahead and get the local user input service just game get service user input service and then in the user input service i'm going to go ahead and get input began and then i'm going to connect it to the function here which takes the input and the game process event so i'm just going to go ahead and say if input dot key code equals enum.keycode.f so that should be a double equal sign then i'm just going to go ahead and go event fire server and you can pass in uh, i think up to 16 you can pass in a bunch of variables for this if you need to so for this i'm just going to put in a string called test or something you can also put in bools like true you could put in numbers whatever you want to put in you could put tables too like if you need a table or something like this whatever i'm just gonna put a string in for now though and then in the server script i'm gonna go ahead get the event which is the same way that we get it on the local script and then we're gonna go ahead and connect the event with event on server event connect and we're going to connect the function and if you're a client if you call the event on a client script or if you like if you connect it on a server script then you will always have the first variable that's passed through to be player so that variable will always be passed through no matter what if you put it in or not and then anything that you like passed in through here so since i passed in test right here anything like this will be the second variable and if you add a another one like a number or something then that will be the third one so it's basically the same as normal functions so this will just be test so here we can just go ahead and print uh layer all the remote function and then we can also just put the test uh variable right there so whenever i click f it should print to the the console yep okay that makes sense player.name there we go that should work So now when I right click F, it says I called remote event, remote function. So yeah. So we know that we can communicate from the client to the server. So how do we do this the other way around? So basically what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to make a while loop. I'm just going to do all task dot wait one or something. I'm going to call the event. So I'm going to go fire client. Now there's a couple of different ways you could do this. You could fire, um, you could obviously just fire one client or you could fire all clients right here, which fire client will only work for one person in the server. While fire all clients will fire the event for everyone in the server. So I'm just gonna do fire client for now. Actually, I'll do fire all clients. Just so it's easier. And then you can pass in anything in this function. So we can just put another string, I'll just put it testing or something. So basically the way that we do this on the server is basically the same how we do it in the local script. So instead of firing the server, we'll just go event dot on client event connect function. And this doesn't take any parameters, so it doesn't take like the player or anything. Um, it just takes whatever you passed in from the server. So we'll just say test. 
and then we could just print um, server fired a remote event to the client or something and then we'll just add the uh, the text as well so now if we hit play we see that the server is firing it every second whatever I think it yeah it reverted for some reason but that's okay so yeah um so basically remote events you want to use them if something that the player does that you want to the the entire server to see then you want to go ahead and use a remote event and do it on the server um usually I don't really call events to the client as often as I do to the server so you know this won't really be all that common but this will definitely be common whenever you call it from the uh the client all right thank you guys for watching and um i have a roblox troop with two uh fun games in them if you want to go try them out i'll have a link in the description and uh yeah thanks for watching